Hi there, everybody. Here we have an essay at um, level C2. Um, this is a review. Here's the question. You and a friend recently spent time in a resort in an expensive hotel. On returning home, you decided to post a review of the hotel on a travel website. You enjoyed much of your stay at the hotel, but you found significant problems with the cleanliness and quality of the food on offer. Mention these in your review while also praising the aspects of the visit that you enjoyed. Write your review, write your answer in 220 to 260 words in an appropriate style. Okay, so. I and a very old friend of mine spent a full week in this hotel since we were attending a series of important negotiations in the city concerning further expansion of the company we run in Austria. Okay, um, I and a very old friend. I know in the question it starts with you and. Um, as a question of um, etiquette, and this isn't wrong, um, we more not, it, it, we should say um, the other way round. A very old friend of mine and I. This is more to do with uh, etiquette and politeness, and what you've written is not wrong. Yeah, but. It's normally we, we they they suggest that you put yourself second. So a very old friend of mine and I spent a full week in this hotel since we were attending a series of important negotiations in the city concerning the further expansion of the company we run in Austria. Okay, fine. One of the things I've noted about the way you, you're writing, because I've read this a couple of times before doing this, you tend to be very wordy, yeah? And the tone that I get from this from you is something, maybe a four and a half in formality, something, something like that uh, for this, four and a half to five. Okay, despite the expensive price um, and high ratings of the hotel, our experience was very mixed, to say the least. I like this, this word mixed. It's a, a good piece of vocabulary to use. First of all, I would start by saying that the staff was genuinely nice and professional during the whole stay. Yeah, okay, during the whole stay. Um, we were given a warm reception whenever we arrived. I like this whenever as well. So I can't say anything but the best about the staff. Okay, now, I can't say anything. This is perfectly fine. But what something what what we very often do in english is we put this in a different way i can i can say nothing i can say nothing but the best about the staff okay very often instead of instead of uh of this, we put the no into the second part. Furthermore, I would like to highlight the fact that the hotel is really modern and well equipped. In addition to the numerous services mentioned on the website, the hotel also offers premium clients free of charge, free of charge entry uh, to all um sports facilities in the city which allowed us to attend a quarter final at the Roland Garros okay so in addition to the numerous 
in the website the the hotel also um offers premium clients so free of charge let's take out some of that verbosity free entry yeah uh it, it, it it's just more natural and it's um and it, it reads better there's nothing wrong with what you've written yeah um the hotel also offers premium clients free entry to all sports facilities in in the city which allowed us to attend a quarter final at the Roland Garros good i don't think i would have ever gone to a tennis match on my own but i really enjoyed it and it was an experience of a lifetime okay you could use an I think probably more normally I would say the. It was the experience of a lifetime. Anne's not wrong. Now, on my own, I'm not terribly happy about this on my own because the problem with it is there are two meanings. Yeah, you, what you're trying to say here is from my own initiative. But it's not clear if your friend didn't go with you, you went on your own alone, or um, you, you uh, through your own motivation. And therefore, I would change this. I would, I would, I don't think I would have ever gone to a test match, a tennis match, off my own bat. But I really enjoyed it. Um, okay, I don't think I would have ever gone. Let's let's remove the verbosity again. There's nothing wrong with it. I think I would. I never. I I would never have gone. To a tennis match off my own bat but i really enjoyed it and it was the experience of a lifetime notice my change of this i would never uh, i think i would never it's reducing the number of words you're using um and still saying the same thing however i have to emphasize the fact that it was not just fun and games in the hotel. Okay. I have to emphasize the fact that it was not just fun and games in the hotel. Okay, this works fine again. I have to emphasize the fact that the hotel was not just fun and games notice how i've made this shorter it's saying exactly what you've said but just in less words okay and however this works very nicely try the word not with standing I have to emphasize the fact, notwithstanding, notwithstanding everything that we I've said, notwithstanding, I have to emphasize the fact that the hotel was not just fun and games. First, it must be mentioned that my room was terribly dusty. I like this terribly. That's very good. Uh, which started to trigger my dust allergy. OK, so that's fine again, but which triggered my dust allergy. What's even worse? So what is? OK, hmm. that's an interesting one, I think. So what is even worse? This is reasonably informal. I guess you can use contractions. What's even worse? The wall in my bedroom was full full of with dead mosquitoes so full of let's lose that so it was really gross i like this really gross this is 
really quite informal. So the wall in my bedroom, let's let's make this, let's remove the extra words again. Nothing wrong with the wall in my bedroom. So uh, what's, what's even worse, my bedroom wall was full of mos of dead mosquitoes. So let's give you a more interesting word than full. Was full of, was covered with dead mosquitoes. So it was really gross. I'm sure that a hotel with such high ratings could have had the walls checked before giving it to a visitor. I like this. Have the walls checked. Oh, that's very good. You're using an interesting construction. With such with such high ratings. Um, let's see. You used ratings before, didn't you? Ratings. OK, so let's get, give you a... With such a high reputation here again this is a question of style of style yeah not not repeating and using different words a hotel with such with such a high reputation could have had the walls checked before giving it to a visitor finally i would also like to write about the food served by the hotel OK, you could say again about the hotel food, the food served by the hotel. Although it's true that the desserts and soups were especially tasty. So you can't put but here because you've already used although and the although is already saying but. Although it is true. It's true. Notice this use of contractions is fairly informal. Yeah, um, I think it's OK for the uh, informal way you're writing this. But more normally, it, it's, it's better when you're writing to use the full words. Although it is true that the desserts and, and soups were especially tasty. No but. The main courses were downright disastrous. Love this word. Really good word. In short, the meat was always way chewy and the quality of the fruits and vegetables also left somewhat to be desired. OK, a couple of things here. I think also left somewhat to be desired. Lacked, lacked quality somewhat. I think normally we use this phrase left, left somewhat to be desired. I think you could probably use it. Also left something to be desired, left somewhat to be desired. I'm going to leave it. I think it works. OK, now. The meat was also way chewy. OK, yes, you can use way like this. I'd be much happier if it was way too chewy. <clears throat> way chewy, this is, it sounds very American, very informal. Uh, way chewy, I would probably give something like a three in formality. And in the, uh, way too, it, it smooths, smooths that. It was way too, too chewy. And the quality of the fruit, the fruits normally as well fruit we use it uncountably yeah um yes you can have one fruit two fruits but in english we don't normally use fruits as accountable we normally say a piece of fruit and therefore the quality of the fruit and vegetables also left somewhat to be left somewhat to be desired somewhat to be desired, left somewhat to be desired, something to be desired. I'm being probably a bit too harsh. All in all, in spite of all the positive things, 
in terms in terms of value for money i would in no way recommend this hotel to anyone one until they are able to pay attention to basic details such as food quality or cleanliness i think this needs to be an and and cleanliness not one or the other they need to deal with both of them okay i would in no way recommend if you'd put your in no way you could at the beginning here you could have used an inversion to show a little bit more um knowledge about your grammar but that's fine all in all i like that in spite of the positive things in terms of value for money i would in no way recommend this hotel to anyone until they are able to pay attention to such basic details such basic details as food cleanliness food quality and cleanliness but for the great staff we would have visited another accommodation and that's for sure okay let's see accommodation for me is normally uncountable when you use an accommodation an accommodation normally means an agreement or a compromise and therefore i would use other accommodation because another is one more countable but you need to use other to say additional uncountable an additional quantity of uncountable i like this but for as well but for the great staff we would we we would have visited other accommodation we would have visited would are you going to visit it or are you going to s stay at it i'm not sure visited is quite the right word we would have used we would have uh stayed in yeah i'm going to put stayed in in other accommodation and that's for sure okay and that's for sure this that's for sure again it's quite informal it's giving your in informal tone you might say we uh but for the great staff we surely would have stayed in other accommodation okay this this is very this is very good it's very it's very well written um there are the mistakes are very few and far between you've answered the question very correctly um i think you need to be a little bit more ambitious with the vocab with the vocabulary you're you you're using um although there's there are some very nice things here as well um I also think you want to try and be a little bit more succinct, a little bit more, more, more snappy, because I, I find everything you're writing a little bit verbose. But that's more to do with style than uh, anything else. I think at level C two, for example, in IELTS or in uh the cpe i'm going to give this something like a seven yeah maybe a 7.5 i'm going to go for seven at level c2 um this is a very good effort well done so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now c2 writing